have you ever gotten shocked on a metal door handle after rubbing your feet on a carpet? The shock you felt was caused by a buildup called static electrical charge. Lightning works in the same way. Lightning is caused by thunderstorms way up in the sky. The many bits of ice in the thundercloud bump into each other as they move around. All of those collisions create an electrical charge. Positive charges, or protons, form at the top of the cloud, and negative charges, or electrons, form at the bottom. Since opposites attract, that causes a positive charge to build up on the ground beneath the cloud. The charges from these points eventually connect with the charge reaching down from the clouds, and then, zap! Lightning! The charge carried in a bolt is five times hotter than the surface of the sun. This extreme heat causes the air to expand explosively fast, and the expansion causes a booming sound wave known as thunder. Even though thunder and lightning happen at roughly the same time, you see the flash of lightning before you hear the rumble of thunder because light travels faster than sound. Here's an easy experiment to try at home. You'll need a low-watt light bulb and a balloon. First, inflate the balloon. Then, in a dark room, rub the balloon on a volunteer's head for two minutes. The friction helps build up an electrical charge just like inside a cloud during a storm. Finally, move the balloon close to the end of the light bulb and watch it light up. The negative charges from the balloon connect with the positive charges from the light bulb. Lightning is thrilling but also dangerous. Lightning hurts more people each year than hurricanes or tornadoes. So when thunder roars, go indoors.